All right, so if you want to uh, take a night off from grilling, we've got the perfect recipe for you. I'm back in the kitchen with two of our favorite guys, Chef Neil Fuentes and Billy DeCrosta. So everyone probably did a lot of grilling over the weekend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Time to move back into the house. What do you think? Is this an easy recipe? Very Super simple. easy. You and I can make this. That's how easy it All is. All right, well, that says a lot. Uh, we're making Cornish hens with mm -hmm. stuffed zucchini. Yes. Yeah, that is correct. How do we get started? All right. Cornish hens are here. a little intimidating, I feel no. like. No, no, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. They're like how? little baby chickens, right? Oh my, yeah, Cornish hens, kind of? yeah. Kind of like little baby chickens. <laughs> you buy them at any major grocery store. Uh, they come frozen. Okay. So you want to let them sit out a little bit for uh, de for thawing out. You don't want to stick them in the microwave because then they're going to get kind of all so rubbery get them and nasty. Out. Okay, keep them out. Yeah, they come the whole little chicken, and then basically all we did was we cut it in half like this. Okay. Okay. Simple enough. We're going to add a little bit of uh, oil on the top. Okay. Rub that in. Neil, can I have some of the garlic salt? Garlic salt. That's all. Got it. A little fresh lemon, lemon juice. juice you want to put the lemon juice first, so this way here it doesn't rub up all the garlic salt and make it fall off. Oh, a little okay. garlic salt on one side. Flip it over. Take some of that oil. Put it on there. Same thing. A little fresh lemon juice. Okay. A little garlic salt, and then you are going to take it and put it skin down. Watch out, Teresa. I don't want to see it burn. Sizzle? Okay. Yeah, we need this right there. Thank you for protecting okay. me. Yes, now, this do. is a dish that you don't want the kids around because of the hot oil, okay? Because it will splatter. All Got right? It. And you're basically going to leave that in the pan, skin down, for two minutes. So, Neil will take over. All and right. I'm going to put my stopwatch on. So, okay? while this is frying, he's putting his two minutes right there, one side, because one of that brown, crispy thing. Got and it. we're going to start it. working on the veggies. Okay. All I did was is I chopped a bunch of uh, uh, onions and bell peppers and tomatoes, and I took the zucchini. Oh, and you uh, used the I don't, and then I use the middle and chop it, right? But now, you can use any veggies you want. Ooh. See? You see what I mean? Careful. You got a little burn right there. That's what you need Turn to have that. that. All right, so we're going to add the zucchini right in the pan. We're going to add some peppers. Okay. We're going to add some tomatoes right in there. Got it. Now, you guys are burn? using canola oil versus olive oil. Does it make a difference? Yes. It's it does. It, it really does. It makes a way difference in the flavor. Okay. We're not looking for olive oil flavor here. Got we it. Want that good vegetable. Yeah, we want to kind of, kind of uh, blend because we're gonna actually season that again with it. Mm -hmm. garlic salt. Pass it over to you. We're gonna put it right there. We're gonna use the same ingredients: a little garlic salt in there, a little lime juice. I'm gonna Ooh, use for the veggies. Ooh, a secret ingredient. Yeah. yeah. It up the flavor a lot. Right, and you're gonna cook this for about two to three minutes. Okay. But we don't want to cook it all the way, only because what's going to happen is we're going to stuff this baby. Oh, I like this idea. With the veggies. I feel like people are going to be impressed if you serve this, right? <laughs> it is. Yeah. It, it is. does. It looks impressive. I it agree. Is. And then, basically what's going to happen is, this is the magic number. The magic number is 20 minutes, right? Because what we're going to do is we're going to put them in the oven. Oh, yeah, we're going to put them in a thing like this, and we're going to bake them in a, I have it a 500 degree oven right here. Okay. For 20 minutes. And why is that the magic number? Because, I don't know. Because the chicken also needs to cook for 20 minutes. Ah. Okay. So we're going to turn it around, and this is what we're looking for. You see that? Oh, beautiful. Okay. Yeah. You want to stick that in the oven, Neil? I want to stick it so in the far. oven. Ooh, Along it's with to smell good my in here. zucchini. Got it? Same time. And you want your oven set to 500 degrees. That's right. not too hot. It's not, well, it's pretty hot. Okay. It is hot, right? Super 20, hot. 20, 20 minutes. <laughs> you're talking now, about you, no If, hot, you're, if you're unsure hot. about your oven and the temperature, if you have a little thermometer at home, just stick it in there and just make sure that your chicken or your Cornish hen is 165 degrees. At least 165 degrees. All right, right. that's good. Okay. You take it out of the oven if you want to add whatever you want. I personally like to add a little lime juice right on top of the veggies because it's going to bring that freshness that we're looking mm -hmm. for the summertime. Okay. You can add a little lime juice as well to the chicken. Why not, Put a little right? lemon wedge, some cilantro, and you're ready to go. Come so on, that's pretty easy. simple. You can do that. Yeah, yeah. No, Just that don't was get pretty again, easy. Okay? So <laughs> easy, so easy. So it's, it's, it's definitely something that you want to do, especially if you don't have a grill at home, but you want to have the same effect that's mm -hmm. true. of having a grill at home. This is and the let way me tell you, that skin is like super, super crispy, Ooh. and the juices just get so locked in there. Right. Oh. What happens is when you're cooking something at 500 degree oven like this, mm -hmm. at 500 temperature, all the heat is coming from the outside, you know, basically attacking that skin and making <laughs> it really, really crispy, oh. while at the same time, all the juices are just kind of, you know, hanging around inside <laughs> and making everything so moist and delicious. All right. Just uh, like that. <laughs> what, what, uh, what are you guys up to? You always have something fun. Uh... You know, I've been so busy teaching. My studio has grown immensely. Well, we, we had you on the show yeah, over on stage have, eight, singing lessons. I have about lessons. 50 private students right now. So it's really, 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 really grown. I have, um, I work seven days a week. I don't take a day off. 
Well, I'm glad you made time for us today. Thank you. <laughs> Great to be back Neither here again. And what Neither. do you do? You must have an event uh, coming up. I did. I just actually, I just did an event. I was a, a, a master ceremony for a cooking competition for eighth graders. Oh, cute. And now getting ready for Can You Sing USA? We're collecting funds again yes, for the Circle are. of Care, who yep. takes care of kids with cancer. And uh, our friend Erin Christine is producing it this time from American, from American Idol. Idol. So cool. we've got some cool so things going on. She's been hanging out with me in my studio, working with my students. It's been a great experience. It's been a great Very experience. Good. And also getting ready for Dancing with the Stars in Brantford in September. I'm going to be the master ceremony there as well. All right, lucky cool. you. Uh, we are going to taste this at the end of the show.